Lesson 7.2b, Using Unit Rates to Solve Proportions. We've learned that we can use equivalent ratios to solve proportion problems. That was the last video, 7.2a. It's linked in the description if you missed it. We can also use equivalent rates to solve proportions. Finding a unit rate may help us write equivalent rates when the terms don't have a common multiple. So remember, a rate compares two quantities that have different units of measure. If we read 54 pages in three days, we're comparing pages to days. Those are different units. And if we drive 160 miles in four hours, we're comparing miles to hours. These are different units. These are rates. In 45 minutes, Tala can make three bracelets. How many bracelets can she make in 60 minutes? So we think we write a proportion. 45 minutes, three bracelets. And what can we multiply 45 by to equal 60? Hmm, there's no whole number that we can multiply 45 by to equal 60. No whole number. We can find and use the unit rate. We can do 45 divided by 3 to get 15, or we can divide both terms by 3, because that's the denominator, to get a unit rate of 15 minutes with one bracelet. Now we can use this unit rate and we ask ourselves 15 times something is 60, that would be 4, we multiply the 1 by the same thing, we know Tala can make 4 bracelets in 60 minutes. We couldn't answer it the regular way by thinking of what we can multiply by, so we had to use a unit rate, then multiply that to match the 60 and then figure out if we multiply this denominator by the same thing for the unit rate, that we would get a 4. We can use our knowledge of multiplication to find an equivalent rate or a unit rate. Since we know 11 times 4 is 44, we think, well, 11 times 7 is 77. We have equivalent rates. And we know our unit rate is 11 for every 1. So if we know our multiplication facts, we could do this in our head. We could use mental math. Let's try another quick one. Bob paid $150 for two nights at a motel. How much would he pay if he stays seven nights? We write our proportion. The cost is $150 for two nights. And we think, what can we multiply two by to equal seven? Ah, there's no whole number that we can multiply 2 by to equal 7. So we can find and use the unit rate. We do the cost, $150, divided by the two nights, and we get 75. Or we could divide each term by 2, because that's our denominator. And we get a unit rate of $75 for one night. Now, if we're trying to find 7 nights, we just multiply 75 times 7. We get $525. We know that our equivalent rate would be $525 for seven nights. We need to make sure that the units are in the same order for both rates. If this is the cost and that's the nights, then this has to be the cost and this has to be the nights. So we've finished the second part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the last part where we're going to be using proportional relationships to find distance on a map. Keep trying your best, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.